Hi folks, this is gonna be a quick little video about how to correctly import images into SketchUp so that they show up in your SU Podium renders. So a pretty common support question that we get is, you know, help, I'm using this image in my scene but it's not showing up in the renders. So if I go up to File, Import, switch this to All Supported Image Types, and select an image file and click Import, it's gonna let me drag that image into the scene or if I know what the size is supposed to be, I can hit, you know, I can type in 10.8 for the width, click enter, and there it is. I've got my image in my scene. It's showing up in the SketchUp viewport. Everything seems fine. But if I click render, you can see it's not gonna show up in the podium rendered image. And this is just because of the way that it was imported. So if I go back into the import interface, you can see there's two different options. You can import as an image plane or as a texture. Now image plane is the default and I think it's what most people use just out of force of habit. But image planes aren't actually gonna show up in the render unless we turn them into a SketchUp material and paint it onto an actual face in the model. So if I click cancel, the easiest way to make this image show up in a render is to right click it and just explode it. And what this does, it converts the image plane into a SketchUp face. So now I have a piece of SketchUp geometry that I can actually select. And if I wanted to, I could extrude it. Um, and what it does is it creates a material in the SketchUp material tray. So now this is a texture that, that has been applied to a SketchUp face. And if I zoom back out, click the render button, There you go. We've got the image in our scene. It's a little bit washed out because this is an exterior scene uh, and it's a little bit overlit, but you get the idea. So if you have an image that you imported as an image plane, all you need to do is right click on the image plane and say explode. Now that's gonna turn it into a SketchUp face and See, we're getting this flickering because it's on the same exact plane as the wall. So what I would wanna do is go to the move tool and move it out by like two millimeters or something like that. So now there's none of, oops. So now there's no longer any Z fighting. And because we've converted it to a texture, it shows up in the render. Okay, so that's the simplest way to get an image to show up in your Podium render. And one other thing that I'll add, since this is just a regular SketchUp face now, I can select it, right click, and say Make Group so that it doesn't intersect with other objects in the model. Okay, there's one other thing that I wanna go through, so I'm gonna delete both of these and come up here and say Edit, Unhide All. And so for this example, I just wanna show what you can do if you've already got an existing SketchUp component and you just need to bring an image in and paint it on this face. So let's say we want the image texture to be painted right here on this interface inside the frame. Instead of going up to image, import, dragging out the image and exploding it, all we need to do is create a SketchUp material. So I come over here to the materials tray, click create material, image example, click use texture image, uh, find it wherever you saved it, click the image, click open, and then you can set the scale right here. So I know this is supposed to be 16 inches tall. Click OK. And now that's a material that we can use. So I'll go over here and grab the paint bucket. Oops. Let me select this face first. I just needed to open up the group and select the face that I want it to be painted on. And then I grab the paint bucket, paint it right here. And it's not centered quite the way I want it. So I just go right click, texture, position, and I can just move it right where it's supposed to be. So if I sort of line up these two corners with the edge of the dotted line, you can see that it centers it in the frame. And there we've got our image in our frame. And now if I click the render button, it's gonna show up in the render just like we want it. All right, so we've got a framed image and it renders just fine. So that's two different ways to get an image into your SketchUp model and have it correctly appear in a podium render. Hope that helps you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.